Welcome everyone to our next lesson on Get Smart Plus 3 Module 6 Food Please with me, Teacher Grace. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the name of some other foods and we will be reading along the Smart Kids story, then the grammar and also exercise in your student's book and workbook. Now, let's name these foods. Can you identify which picture is the peas? Peas. Yes, you're right. It is this picture here, which is omelette. Omelette. Yes, you're right. It's the picture here. Pancake. Do you know what pancake is? Well done. It is this picture here. How about pineapple? Yes, you're right. Pineapple. Peppers. Yes, the one with red, yellow and green. And the last one, coconut. Well done. Now let's read along to the Smart Kids and you can refer it in your Get Smart Plus 3 Students Book, page 56. Mmm, I love my omelette. There's some cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? No, there isn't. There are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? No, there aren't. There isn't any cheese and there aren't any peppers in my omelette. But there are some peas, onions and pineapple. Yuck! And for dessert, coconut pancakes. Yummy! Now, let's test your understanding on the story. First question, what is Greg's dad doing? Yes, you're right. He is cooking. Well done. Next question. What are they eating? What are Anna and Greg eating? Anna and Greg, they are eating omelette. Very good. Next, does Anna likes Greg's omelette? Hmm. What did she say? Yeah, she said yuck. So it means that she she doesn't like. No, she doesn't. Question number four. What do they have for dessert? Mm, look for the keyword. Yes, they are having coconut pancake. Last question. Do Greg and Anna like coconut pancake? What is the keyword here? What did they say about coconut pancakes? They said, yummy and their face looks happy. So do you think that they like coconut pancake? Well done. Yes, they do. For grammar, we'll be looking at how we make sentences using is there or are there and what are the appropriate response to, to those questions. So is there usually is being used when it refers to one thing. Are there, it refers to more than one thing. If it is an uncountable noun remember we'll be using is there so when you start with the question of is there you will answer if it is 
a good response, you will answer yes, there is. Or if it is a bad response, no, there isn't. If the question sentence start with are there, then the appropriate response would be if it is a good response, yes, there are. And if it is a not so good response, we will say no, there aren't. Now, let's try to answer these questions. Is there a pineapple in the fridge? Can you spot the pineapple? Very good, it's here. So, it is a yes or a no? You're right, it is a yes. So, um, the next keyword would be is there. So, we, when we see is there, we will use the response of yes, there is. So, the answer is yes, there is. Well done. Next question. Are there tomatoes in the fridge? Yes, you're right. You can spot the tomatoes. So it is a yes. And the keyword is are there. So our response would be yes, there are. Well done. Moving on to the next one. Is there a banana in the fridge? Can you spot if there is a banana in the fridge? Oh, okay. So there's no banana to be seen. And the keyword is, is there? So based on the keyword, our response would be, no, there isn't. Very good. Next, are there apples in the fridge? Can you spot any apples? Hmm. No, we can't. So, since the keyword is are there, the response is no, there aren't. Well done, everyone. Now let's move on to the exercise in your student's book on page 57. And also your workbook, page 45. So in your student's book, page 57, the first question is based on the story, identify what Anna and Greg have in their omelettes. So you have to label if Anna have pineapple, then for pineapple, we are going to write A. And if it is in Greg's omelette, you're going to put G for Greg. Did you manage to identify it? We will check the answer later. Moving on to the next one, you are going to listen and tick the correct answer. You're going to choose yes or no. 1. Is there any cheese in your sandwich? Of course, it's a cheese and tomato sandwich. 2. Are there any onions in the cupboard? Yes, there are. How many do you want? Two, please. Three. Is there any pineapple on the pizza? No, I don't like pineapple. Four. Are there any peas in the fridge? No, there aren't. Five. Are there any peppers in your salad? Yes, there are. I love peppers.
Six. Is there any coconut in the pancakes? No, there isn't. Oh, good. I don't like coconut. Now let's look in your workbook on page 45. For activity number one, you have to look and write. Rearrange the letters that has been given to spell out the word that we have learned at the beginning of this video. For activity 2, answer these questions. Use the response given. Now, let's check your answers. So, these are the answers for the activity in your student's book on page 57. And these are the answers for the exercises in your workbook on page 45. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed and learned much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!